presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just had, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. October 15th. You're going to love it. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 357, NASDAQ's up 55, S&P's up 30, gold contract down $30, trading at 1767 an ounce. You get silver down 14 cents, $23.33 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 94 cents. $82.25 a barrel. Copper, check it out, folks. Copper's up another nine and a half pennies, 472. It looks like copper, man. So 489 is the high. It looks like copper wants to go to about 650, folks. Okay, this is going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note right now down 18 ticks, trading at 130.30. 30 year bond off 24 at 159.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar flat. 93.950, euro at 116, the yen is at 114.24, and the British pound is at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got option expiration out here today. You get a SPY that's trading out at up 290. You're at 445. Your swing point up here is 444.89. This is going to be great watching how this whole thing shakes out. So what we've had thus far is this. You know, you come down. We've come down with 118 million shares. You come down with 166 million shares, 130 million shares. Yesterday, we went up with 70 million shares. And today, right now, you're at 45. We'll, we'll do probably 70. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. We should. If we don't, it's even more bizarre. So your benchmark out here today in the SPY is going to be 449, 444.89. And we're over that, uh, let's see, 37, 45, by 40, 45 cents, 47 cents right now. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. You have the same type of setup inside the NDX. What you have with the NDX right here? Um, you can see, man, it's, it's such a trip. The NDX is so much weaker than the S&P. It's amazing, actually. So picture this. The first time that we did the counter trend bounce, the Qs got up to 365. Well, 365, it, it couldn't handle the bar, the down day bar of that 97 million shares. It still can't handle it. It's going to be wild watching this thing shake out. So now what you have is this. We got over the swing. The swing's 365.69. That's, that's the major that swing that you're going to look at coming into the close out here. Uh, my take, let's go take a look at this uh, NQ. So when you have, we, we will get more volume because it's option expiration. There's no doubt about that coming into the close. Uh, we take a look at the NQs. Uh, there we go. One second. I got a NQ. That's different. Oh, interesting, man. Okay, so when that thing is not down, that's what's going on. Okay, anyway, the NQ, the low of today was 15,000, uh, 020. And, yeah, we just came down with some juice. I suspect we're going we're gonna to get a little weaker coming into the close. This has been consolidating all day long. You know, we'll see whether we get down to the uh, uh, 020 mark, uh, which would basically, that would put us uh, negative. That was overnight last night. 
Gold, gold contract. They brought the gold contract back, 30 bucks. Uh, bottom line, you get 195,000 contracts, I believe. And that's 194,000 right now. And that is going to be a contraction on dramatically lighter volume. We went up on 168. Uh, no, on 299,000 contracts, you pull back. And if you want to see, um, you know, some equities, man, <laughs> the, the open, I mean, there's no doubt, if you're in the gold market, folks, uh, you know, when you take a look at some of the equities, it can get brutal. <laughs> there's, no, there's no two ways about that. Uh, that being said, you know, when you, when you catch them right, man, I mean, they're up big already. I mean, we look at... Um, Anglo Ashanti. The bottom line is that was it was 14.50 uh, three weeks ago. Now you're at 18. And this one here, they opened this down 70 cents, folks. Which you know, it's a lot of money for an $18 stock. Guess what? It's probably going to be an ABC structure on the way up. It shook off the whole ball of wax out here. Um, you know, you're now you're down 37 cents. Same with uh, Goldfields. Uh, bottom line is that these stocks want higher price. Now let's go take a look at that note and bond market. So. Notes and bonds, 1.3, that's light volume, man. Okay, so check it out, man. We are pulling back, and you're pulling back with tremendously lighter volume. This still wants higher price, man. This is gonna be wild watching this shake out, but that's telling me that the correction is still on. So what you had is this. On Wednesday, you go up with uh, 2.3 million contracts. You're down today with 1.3. That, that is still saying that there's more buyers than, than, there, than there are sellers. And King Dollar. King Dollar is flat out here today. You get a sideways move. You know, we came down uh, two days in a row. We'll see if uh, King Dollar uh, bottom line is going to get any follow through uh, coming into next week. Let's go to uh, Earl in Seminole. Hey, Earl, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, growling and prowling. That's a beautiful thing, man. Totally. It's, it's my birthday week. Happy birthday, man. Thanks. So, uh, you, you're a Libra. There. Yeah, you're a Libra. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Balance those scales. Yeah, uh, I'm in Franco, Nevada. Okay. I'm looking to add to it. Okay. Should I be worried about this downdraft in the gold? Let's, am I worried about it? Is that what you said? Yeah. I'm always worried yeah. about it. <laughs> does, <laughs> does, it does, it, well, here, let's look at Franco, Nevada. We'll talk about it. So Franco, Nevada, this is one of the, it's, it's a streamer, folks, okay? It acts like a bank. They get 26 employees, and with 26 employees, they're taking in uh, 1.3 billion dollars. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Um, it's it was it had been one of the strongest stocks uh, in the marketplace. Um, good setup right now. So what I would do is this. Okay, you get let's see. So you get a small ABC. What was that at 136? It's 10 bucks. That's going to get you 143. Okay, and we just hit 141. 140. If you're going to add to it, well, you don't have to do it today. That's for sure. Hey, just just stay there for a second, okay? With your good shot break, okay. we're we'll coming right back. Our phone number, folks, okay. is 877 927 6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 375. NASDAQ is up 61. SP is up 32. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 387. You get the Nasdaq up 67. S&Ps are up 33. We're talking to Earl from Seminole. We're talking about uh, Franco Nevada. So the, if, we, if we take a look at, at Franco Nevada, Earl, you know, you're, you're already in it. I think you're in it at a great price. I mean, you know, my take is we're going higher. Uh, now, adding on to it, you know, I, mean, I, guess, I guess an add-on, if we can get to 136.67, it would be a pretty good add-on. Um, the real question is, is that going to get to that level? You can see that what they've done here is that they've uh, hit gold by 30 bucks, but yet the equities aren't hit, you know. So, you know, my, my take is that we're going higher. And I can, um, it, 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 and I'm talking about in the physical gold market also. If you take a look at this physical gold market, uh, what you're going to see, uh, I'm going to put this up on a continuous contract. And when we got slammed, I think it's last month, it ended up being one of the biggest reversals out there. So that's a monthly, meaning that we came down hard. There it is right there. Okay, oh man, time goes crazy. This blows my mind. Actually, that's August, the week of August 13th. See that week of August 13th? That's when gold got slammed all the way down to 1692. Ended up closing out at 1775. You came back and tested it. That right there is telling me that the next move on physical gold is really going to be up to this, uh, well, first, I suspect, 1834, and then the 19, the 13 is game, man. So. You know. Yeah, m my take is gold's in a big cup and handle. Okay. And if you look at it, it's in about a 10-year cup and handle. Yep. And the handle is forming, and uh, that's kind of the way I read it. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. So I'll pick this up. I'm going to bring it back. I'll put it back. I'm going to put it back 20 years right now. Yeah, listen, it's a good setup, man. I think it's a good setup. I mean, you know, we've been talking about the, uh, I, you're going to love this, Earl. I got a, I, one of the tra traders in the den. He's saying, he's answering it, too. I've seen that, too, he says. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> listen, it's, it, you know, we know it's volatile. There's no doubt about that. Um, my take is we're going higher. And, you know, what I, what I really like about where we are right now is that you already had oil go to the moon. You have copper that's going to the moon. It's like, you know, fundamentally, when prices go up, that means gold's going to be going higher also. So my take is we're going higher. Yeah. 
And my uh, take too. I was just concerned about the downdraft part of it. Oh, the, this, this, and there's no doubt, man. I the, uh, there's going to be more heat. You don't make money in the gold market without, you know, a few uh, real sh stomach turns. It just doesn't happen. Oh, okay? you, you get the blowtorch. That's for sure. <laughs> that's a fact, man. That's a fact. But I caught Franco at the bottom, so. And Franco Nevada is a great company, man. I mean, that's the bottom yeah, line. Yeah, I love Franco. Yeah, I mean, check yeah. it out. I mean, when you can take in uh, over a billion dollars with 26 employees, that's pretty intense. They take in $1.3 yeah, billion. Dollars, so. They're doing something right, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Tommy. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And, you know, we, we have... We also have lots of um, birthdays out here, man. I like it. And we got uh, Jimmy. It's Jimmy's birthday today. He's in the Tiger's Den. Happy birthday, Jimmy, man. Making a great year, man. It's, uh, he's 60 years young. I get Jeff. That, that's going to be, when's your birth? End of the month. No, end of, when's your birthday, Jeff? Got all these uh, October babies, all these Libras. That's a beautiful thing. Well, I want to wish everyone a happy birthday and make it a great year. That's the real bottom line. Um, so let's go take a look. We know oh, yours is in May. Well, you can have another one right now. <laughs> it's sad counting backwards. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today uh, inside of the marketplace. You got uh, Virgin Galactic. Oh, look. let's look at Virgin Galactic. You talk about pushing paper uh, out to the marketplace. Tommy was talking about this on his program this morning at 9 o'clock. This is about as intense as it gets. You had, I mean, there's no doubt that uh, when, when you take a look at this, the uh, they pushed the paper out right when they got up to um, you know the they peaked into space for you know five minutes whatever that was they pushed paper out the, the stock went out the fifty seven dollars right the stock's nineteen dollars and ninety seven cents right now folks and let's go here I'll show you this this is pretty wild man revenue no I need issue information here we go. So the issue information on this baby, just look at this, man. Five. There it is right there. No. There it is. Man, it doesn't seem like they pushed. Hold it. 520. There's another one they did, man. This, I'm, okay, so I know that they pushed this out here. This is not on here. It's, it's saying $19.50. This is just not on here. Because they pushed another whole... Uh, bunch out there. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt about it. And so picture this. What one of our tigers here is, is that uh, they're talking about the Spocks and they're talking about that, okay, it's, it's basically uh, scam artist creation. And what has happened, folks, is that the Journal had a great story this week. Uh, and, and what it was, was that the aspect of um, Everyone was jumping on these sparks. A spark goes public at ten bucks. That's the bottom line. There's ten bucks. There's ten bucks in cash that is in there until they buy a company. So, but what it end up happening, which we saw, is that they're trading at twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars, like all these outrageous numbers. And it's like, okay, you only have ten dollars. Markets are markets, though, and that's what they do. Bottom line, what ends up happening? There's ninety percent of them now that are trading under ten dollars. And most of them at 970, 980, somewhere like that. But you know, bottom line, uh, it was it was quite a run that they had. There's no two ways about that. Took a huge amount of cash in, and then you know we'll see uh, what's happening. What the journal story is about is that there was folks that were actually using these now as bonds, you know, because of the fact that it's still worth ten dollars. But that seems to me like a way too risky trade versus just the Treasury. And the reason being, I'm saying that, is that, you know, if you're at 980 and, you, you know, saying, okay, it's worth $10, 20 cents, big, you know, big deal, right? Um, the bottom line is that what if they get sued? I mean, there's a million other expenses that get involved that could happen and I suspect will happen inside of those spots. Okay, so we'll, we'll see where it's going to shake out, but it's, it's a problem. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here today. You get Apple uh, up 79 cents. Bank of America is up a buck 33. Wells Fargo, look at that, up 334. They can still basically take people to the cleaners and uh, they're bidding them up. Let me see this thing right now. That's quite a move, man. 
So you got Wells Fargo. They uh, come out with numbers number-wise here. Let's see what they have. So number-wise, they did 18.8 uh, .8 billion to the top line. They did a buck 17 to the bottom line, and the market's liking it. Uh, some of the other higher volume equities that we still have out here. You got Marbell, that's uh, up six cents. Freeport Mac Moran, that's finishing ABC structure on the eight, on the way up. FCX, and what that is all about, folks, is that you have copper almost at all time highs. Freeport Mac Moran's doing an ABC structure on the way up. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 389. You get the NASDAQ up 72. S&Ps are up 33. Let's get over and take a look at the Dow because there's no doubt this move is pretty amazing uh, when you take a look at the Dow Industrials. You know, the Dow Industrials hit a low on Tuesday uh, of 34,115. And we are uh, 1,100 points uh, higher than that right now. Uh, that being said, let's go look at the diamonds and see what kind of a counter trend we have here. So you took out your swings. You don't have volume behind the move. Yeah, bottom line is that, you know, it still looks to me like you get a counter trend move that's happening here. Uh, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials out here today. Let's see. I-N-D-U. 
Okay, strength point wise out here. Goldman Sachs put 97 positive points. United Health 54. Home Depot uh, 42. Visa 36. Taken away from it, Big Mac. McDonald down. Uh, well, putting 10 negative points. Uh, Walgreens uh, 10. Walgreens was going to the moon this week. Uh, travel is four. So the, the bottom line is there's no doubt. If we go look at Goldman first, Goldman's trading up by $14.76. And what you have there, that's also in a consolidation. You know, for the types of numbers that they come out with, they come out with great numbers. Uh, bottom line is that, yeah, can it go to the top of the consolidation? Maybe. It looks to me like we got uh, 405, and we're at 405 right now, uh, 92. So it'll be interesting to see where that uh, shakes out in the next uh, th week or two. Let's go take a look at the yen. So what we had with the yen, the yen versus the dollar, uh, has got weaker in a huge way, folks. I mean, it's surprising that gold hasn't got hit actually more. Uh, in you know, the last two weeks, the yen just went from 110 to 114.25. We take this, we'll put this back, and take a look at of uh, where the yen is. And it seems like the, that the correlations are, are changing a bit inside the yen versus the gold contract. Uh, right now, you know, you, you get the swing that's out there at 114, but it looks to me like that yen's going to go all the way up to 118. It, it, you know, the last high that was established out here is 125, and that was back in 2015. So right now, what we're doing, we're trading into a downdraft from 2015, October of 2015, but it's a strong move, meaning when I say a strong move, so when the yen goes higher, it has a higher number, folks, against the U.S. dollar. That means that the yen is actually getting weaker against the U.S. dollar. That's how that baby shakes out. Let's go take a look. What else we got here? Um, uh, Amazon. Yeah, so Amazon, uh, that, that caught a bit out here today. Uh, and we'll see how this baby is shaking out. We, it, it's, it's a nice bid, too, man. I mean, it's up 97 bucks. You have 4 million shares traded, and so that's saying, hey, guess what, man? Um, there's a high-volume low that I think wants to get tested, but guess what? doesn't matter what, what I think. <laughs> uh, the bottom line is that this baby looks like it wants to go up to 35.49 first. I mean, this is a big move. You know, when I talk about a move with wide price spread and accelerated volume, that's a move with conviction. That's what you have out here today with Amazon. Um, you know, and maybe the market's figuring out that Amazon's still going to have uh, more supplies than anyone else has, you know, inside of the marketplace. Uh, Netflix, NFLX. Let's take a look at Netflix out here. What we, what you are going to have is that there's going to be uh, Netflix is down 444. Uh, there's going to be a strike in Hollywood that's going to affect all the streamers, and we haven't had a strike in Hollywood. I think it's 2012. Uh, it's a long time ago, and uh, we'll see. Uh, the last, the last one lasted for three months. So they're going to fight for whatever they're fighting for, and I suspect it's going to be, you know, better benefits, more money, all, all of the above. And what they have a lot to stand on because the bottom line is that uh, if you don't have any workers, folks, you can't make anything. <laughs> That's the real bottom line. Um, okay, so let's go take a look at the Russell, the Russell 2000 for one of the Tigers out here. We take a look at this Russell RT. Okay, so the Russell's trading 22.78. I'm going to put the IWM up because I can get the volume. Oh, look at this. Interesting, man. Yeah. Yeah, you got to. Okay, so the IWM just went from 228 to 225 on the day that the market's up. So now you've got a test of the swing, you got a failure of the swing. Yeah, it's saying it can back down a bit. You know, what you have to. But when I say back down 224, and it's only 225, what you have to worry about on the Russell is this. The small and medium-sized oil and commodity stocks are in the Russell. What's also in the Russell, of course, are all the mining stocks. So when commodities move, you can see that Russell move very quickly. You know, so you just you, you got to be really careful because there's no doubt you can see this today. Today, the Russell is moving counterintuitive to the rest of the marketplace. And I suspect what that is, is that you get a lot of the gold equities that are down. Small, you know, um, the oil equities shouldn't be down. Let me just pull up Exxon Mobil because oil is still on a flyer on the way up in a, in a monster way, too. 
You got Exxon's up 65 cents right now. I mean, in three weeks, four weeks, Exxon's gone from 52 to 62. That, folks, is really hard to do when we're talking about uh, 4.2 billion shares. I mean, that is one monster uh, amount of shares, uh, Chevron, CVX. Well, actually, let's go look at the XLE. Uh, no, I know. I want to look at the OIH first because I know a couple of uh, the Tigers uh, have OIH. I'll look at that. Yeah, so the OIH, look at this, man. It's up another five bucks. Um, and I'm so glad that Tiger didn't get... Uh, shooken out of that because I, I know he's been in since like 165 and it's 225. Let's go to Mark in Fort Collins. Mark, what's going on, brother? Hey, how, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. Yourself? I'm doing good. good. Happy Friday. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. Ray Jenner, hey, right? Uh, R-E-G-N? Put it on a monthly, please. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Okay, I got um, I'm it. looking at looking at ABC up, pretty pretty big one. Wondering if your A point would be down in <clears throat> September of 2019 at 271, or if you would use to be more conservative the January 2020, um, which is 328. 328. Okay, so here, where is where's I'm trying to figure out which, hold on, I, I, I think I put this back too far. Okay, so I'll put it back five months, I mean five years. Oh, yeah, I put, it back, I, uh, I put it back like less, less than five years. Um, okay. I can't, I, well, I, it doesn't set up. Or whatever. Like One second, hold on. So, see, on a monthly, when I get it, it, it like, it has less volume. Oh, no, hold it, I see. No, I got it, I got it. Broke the B point from July of 2020, a couple of months ago. <clears throat> I don't know if you see that or not. That's um, what I was calling. Okay, I see. Are you talking about? Okay, so March. You're talking March, the A point, right? Uh, the A point would be. Well, I'm looking at <clears throat> nine one of 2019 when it got down to 271. Or you can look at March, or you can look at January of 2020. Okay, you know what, listen, I can, at, at the very end, I'm gonna to try to do this mock, but in the next segment, I, I got a great interview coming up, all right? No worries. Okay, man. Have a great one, have a safe one, thank you. Yep. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Data White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 388. The Nasdaq's up 67. S&Ps are up 32. Our guest today, folks, is Wave, Wayne uh, Virgin. Wayne is the uh, CEO of the Tampa Bay Watch. Tampa Bay Watch is dedicated to fostering a healthy Tampa Bay watershed, which we have and which we want to get better. Uh, uh, it's a community-driven uh, restoration projects, education programs, outreach uh, events, and you know, literally right down the street from us, folks, there's a new pair, and uh, Wayne's put together a new watch discovery um, center, right, to educate folks, yeah. right? Yeah, we opened the new discovery center last July as part of the new pier project. It's a combination of an aquarium and a museum. Okay. Uh, so it's something for the public to come through. We do educational programs for the kids, and then we just launched this brand new eco vessel. So it's a 47-foot catamaran that takes people out. We do trawls on the bay. We do dolphin watch and dolphin identification for NOAA, a part yes. of the scientific recording. Right. And people go out for about 75 minutes. They have a great time, and they learn a lot. That's amazing, man. Yeah. And then, of course, what we have down here, folks, which is really cool, too, we have dolphins. We have turtles, you oh, yeah. know? And the turtles are beautiful, man. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt about it. Yeah. And, you know, and there are a million things we can talk about. I know, I know there is. <laughs> what I'd like to just get into a, a bit and because this is really important for everyone across the whole country, folks, okay, is cleaning up waterways, okay? We're talking about, in our case down here, we're talking about old crab traps, right? Yes. We're talking about plastics everywhere, right? And I know I've seen a few, like, we have your website up, and the website uh, is tampabaywatch.org, folks. So, you know, the volunteer aspect of cleaning the waters, it seems like it's getting a lot better. Is it? Meaning, what I mean by that is more people get educated, more people realize that, hey, man, this is a, a resource that we need. This is not mm -hmm. something like, you know, when this first started, oh, you're a tree hugger, you're this, you're that. It's like, no, it's seriously, right? <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. it, it like blows my mind yeah. that, that, you know, that, yeah, that's how it might have started 30 years ago. But all you have to do is realize that if you don't have an ecosystem, you don't have anything. That's right. That's the backbone of life. Water is life. Yes. Right? So we all need it. We need to make sure that it's around for us and for our children. Um, one of the things that's amazing is that people are learning. They're getting more engaged. But as we learned down here this summer with Red Tide. Yes. You know, we, we, Huge problem. Yeah, it is. And, and, and what happened was back in the 70s, 60 Minutes did a story on Tampa Bay, and it was declared a dead bay. There was no life in really? it. Really? Back in 74. They said there's so little life, there was really hardly hardly anything left there. Wow. And so we've done some incredible turnaround in that over the last 40 years because of organizations like Tampa Bay Watch, being able to go yes. in and do boots on the ground projects, like our oyster reef ball projects as an example. I'll talk about that in a minute. Yes. Where we go out and actually do things that help clean the water right. or help improve them. Uh, oyster reef balls are something we build. We built out there with volunteers, so it's a community-driven project. Yes. And basically, we install these these 200-pound oyster reef balls, the concrete domes. Okay. And they populate with oysters. Everyone collects somewhere between 1,000 and 2,500 oysters on these on these oyster reef balls. And so, the, so these just grab onto them. Is that they, how it happens? The spores are in the water, and they just form in there, and they start, they start to grow a shell, Yeah. and they start populating on top of each other. The significance of that is that one oyster can clean up to 50 gallons of seawater a day. That's so when we do, you know, we're looking at an expansion program, for example. Yes. And when we take a look at that, adding another 500 a year, that's over 9 billion gallons of seawater that are cleaned over a year by adding 500 more of these oyster reef balls. 
That is so cool, man. And it's all organic. It's all natural. Yes. You know, they, they're, they're low maintenance. They protect the shoreline and help with erosion. I mean, it's a win-win-win. And then people have a blast, of course, because they're participating, but then you're educating them because then they can go back, you know, if they're vacationing down here, they see what you're doing, they can go back to, you know, their oceans somewhere, anywhere in the country or in the world in general, you know what I mean, yeah. and really get engaged. Yeah, and there's opportunities for freshwater improvements as well. If they live inland, there's things they can do because it's all tied to an aquifer or to freshwater that people are drinking. So they can do something similar with uh, plants for freshwater yes. that will have similar effect. They take heavy metals out of the water. And that's the idea is essentially, you know, there are ways that we can improve the quality of life and the quality of the planet that are not going to change our lives that significantly. We just need to be smarter about it and not ignore the problem. So how did you get into this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been in the zoo aquarium world for a number of years. Have you? Yeah. And I came down here, and interestingly enough, what I found was I'm an avid scuba diver. Okay. Right? And I yep. came down here. That does it. Yeah. And I said, you know, I want to find a place that, that an organization that's going out to clean up the water. Right. And I found all these places that were selling, selling T-shirts. But they never seem to actually do anything where they go out and do the projects. Okay. And that's how I discovered Tampa Bay Watch. Right. That's what they do. They that go out is, and that, that boots is, on the ground. You know what's so cool about that, folks, okay? I think all of us, I love the water, too. I mean, just being around the water, right? And I don't think that anyone that is, likes the water, you realize that how important it is and, in particular, the type of life that the water gets, you know what I mean? Like we were just up uh, Crystal Bay and I'm watching in Kings Bay and they're, they're doing a lot of work up there. You know, a lot of volunteers, you know, getting that algae off the bottom, which is, which is a huge deal. And then once that grass comes back, folks, and you, you wouldn't believe the amount of animals that come in. And I've seen it within two years, the amount of animals, uh, it's just amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd hate to be one of those animals because they get eaten so fast. <laughs> they do. I mean, they really do. But, yeah. but you know, it's, it's real. And that's what seagrass does. It acts as a nursery for small, some of the big fish that are game fish that we go out for, right? Yes. They start out as smaller species, and they're protected by being able to hide in the seagrass. Right. As well as being the food for manatees and sea turtles and other animals. Sure. Which is, which is phenomenal. But we talk a bit about the red tide, and since, since you know, we'll talk, about, we'll talk about your arena, we'll talk about finance for a minute, right? Yeah. There's also a significant economic impact to all of this. Yes. You know, last time red tide came through in Pinellas County in this area, I think the estimated loss was about $130 million, uh, in tax revenue for, about the, yep. for, for that it summer in 2018. Business. And right now the, the adding tape is still running here in terms of what the impact is from red tide this year. So things like we're doing are things that are natural ways to help recover from that. People say, what can I do? Get involved in a project, help plant some of these things, be a good neighbor, clean up after yourself, don't throw plastics in the water. Right. Those, all those things, they add up. They and do. make a big difference. They add up. And, you know, I, I love that you brought up the idea that the economic benefits, because I remember having a, a, a guy on, I forget who he was, like 20 years ago, right? And he was explaining, and what it was, I think it was like at the, at the highs of 2000, okay? And what he was explaining is that you got to, that he was explaining the quality of life and that you ha you should have a number on that okay we have numbers on everything else and when you're talking about what is the quality of life worth when you me you're bringing the family down to the water that's worth a fortune and you know this was a financial guy and it was really cool understanding it do you know what i mean because i really started looking i said well that that's that's an equation that's very important yeah. you know i mean the bottom line is that great you know you can have a million bucks but if you walk down and you have a dead freaking ocean what do you have yeah you have nothing all these visitors this summer came down july 4th big weekend for the pier pandemic still you know coming down people are so excited and it's loaded with dead fish. Yeah, well, and the city, heavy. yeah, and the city did a great job of staying on top of cleaning it up. Yeah, you know, that took something like I don't know what it was, 750 tons of, of, of dead fish out of the area, because of the red tide coming through, and that tied back over to spill from Piney Point. Right, we believe, you know, and the impact from that on, on, on adding fertilizers into the bay. Right. So how many people were impacted by that? How many people in hotels on St. Pete Beach? How many people in Pinellas County? Totally. Right. And then how many people can't breathe? Just stay right here. We got a quick break. We're going to come right back. Dow right now, folks, is up uh, 371. Nasdaq's up 60. S&Ps are up 30. Stay right there. We're coming back with Wayne.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Our guest today is uh, Dwayne Virgin. Dwayne is the CEO of Tampa Bay Watch. Now, you can check out Tampa Bay Watch, folks, at tampabaywatch.org. You know, let me ask you, Dwayne, plastics, okay? We know plastics are a huge deal. Talk to me about plastics in the water. So one of the things that we've learned, science has proved, is that, you know, when we throw plastics out, we throw trash out, we assume a lot of things break down, but yes. plastic's not an organic product. It's right. man-made. And what happens is it, it does not dissolve. It just gets broken down into smaller and smaller pieces. Right. So a lot of that ends up in the food and water that's out there, and not realized because it's gotten so small. Recently, they found that um, people people at a fish have found pieces of plastic in, in a fish's stomach. Sure. Now they're finding it embedded in the flesh when they put it under a microscope. And a recent because study. Because the plastic's got so small, broken exactly. up. Yeah. Right. But it's, it's still plastic. Be, yeah, yeah. It's still plastic. So are we eating it? We're eating it. We're eating, we're eating and drinking about a credit card sized piece of plastic per week for every human being on the planet. That, that's how much is out there. Right. And it's plastic, which is a petroleum based product. And so, you know, you wonder why cancer rates are so high. I was just going to say that, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's scary. And so, it, whatever we throw out, whatever we discard, whatever we're not using, right. it doesn't go away. You know, some of it, some of it does. Some things break down naturally, but so much of it doesn't. And so by being conscious of that and finding better solutions and make sure that we're going to be around, that our grandchildren are going to be around. Totally. You know, that's it. This is survival of the race. And, you know, multiple generations. No, it is. And I'm sure that many people are saying, man, you know, I never thought that plastic could actually get 
inside of us, but it's very easy. You can, you can see it's very easy. There's they, no doubt. They said right. one, of the, one of the highest concentrations is in salt. Think about, think about how small salt is, and that you've got microplastics inside I of salt. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that for sure. Folks, the website is tampabaywatch.org. Get over there. Uh, here's a donation pot in there, too. It's getting us some bread, man. The bottom line is that uh, this is a beautiful thing. I appreciate you being here. appreciate all the work you're doing. And, uh, you know, love to have you back. Look forward to it. Absolutely, man. Have appreciate a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, folks, uh, finished up 394. NASDAQ up 70. S&P's up 34. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. <laughs> Look at him. See where he's going to be the tiger. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. Thanks, my pleasure. It was awesome. Oh, my pleasure. Come on down and see us. No.